Well, this is something different. Uh, 1914 Williamson water cord. Quite an early machine, this. Um, obviously, the First World War stopped production of these things because they went on to the Douglas uh, motorcycle, which was a lot lighter and perhaps a bit more usable in the trenches. But uh, this is a 1,000cc bike, so it's quite a big machine again, quite powerful. Again, very original. Um, you don't come across these quite that often. In very nice order. All the paint works nice on it. Bright work is all very good on it. Again, we had this running last week um, and rode it. Again, it's another thing that you <laughs> have to remember you're on a 1914 machine and uh, they aren't quite the same as a 60s bike. But uh, again, quite fast bike. Um, not too much of a problem to sort of get it started or you know get the hang of how to ride this sort of machine. Again, a lot of the original bits on it. The nickel silver, beautiful horn on that. Again, the kickstart mechanism. Now again with this bike, the only thing I would say that's been changed on it, and again for the betterment of it, is the front hub and rim. Again, look, you know these rather silly push bike brakes that wouldn't stop you. So they put on um, a hub, uh, front hub from a Triumph I believe it is. Uh, works very well. Um, I have the original rims and everything so if you wanted to put it back, but me again, I wouldn't wouldn't change this because it makes it so much better to ride and stop. Again, it's a lot of history on this bike, a lot of um, file, original um, sales brochures with it uh, from 1913, handbooks, quite a file on it. So um, I don't think you'd need to want for anything on this in terms of information. We have pretty much everything for it. Well, there she is.